Here's a remake of Water Towers with Beacons. So I got some new towers on here. Now we're going to go on the list. This is the closest one to me. is this one in Muscle Shoals. It's a red one. I'm going to show you it right here. That's it right here. There's a drone video of this water tower, and it shows that it has an LED. I'd say it's a white and red LED. Or white only. I know it's not a red only, since the video was taken at sunset, and the beacon was flash and the LED was flashing white. So I know it's not a night mode only. I'm going to say it's white and red. And I'm going to say it's probably a modern LED. Because it looked like a single strobe. Okay, now we're going to look at this one in Gainesville, Georgia. This one's near an airport. I'm assuming this has a beacon. Well, yeah, it does. It has an old school incandescent. It's not... I can't get very good street views of this thing. Yeah, but this thing does just have a beacon since it's near this airport. You can probably see a, something up there and yeah, that's an incandescent. The Bluffs Water Tower. This is in Knoxville. I I'm plan I'm on going to Knoxville soon. And I'll film this tower right here. In the Knoxville Tower Farm. That tower farm will be in Tower Farms Part 3. But you see, uh, this tower, it does have a dual strobe. Yeah, it's flash technology dual stroke. I don't, that might not be a dual stroke. Oh, yeah, that is a dual strobe. Interesting that this has a beacon. I see a one cell antenna on it, if that is a cell antenna. Now we're going to look at the one in Monroe, Georgia. It has a TWR dual strobe. Or the TWR E1DB. You can see the red there. Cell antennas are like blocking it. And this is a tower in 2021. Early 2021. Or this this one right here is in Orange Beach, Alabama. There's not any good street view of it up close. But according to a video a news video of this tower, I saw that it has a LED on it. I, I saw it both on day and night. It's either one of, it's either a modern LED and HP Horizon. One of those random TWR LEDs, or one of those Orchid LEDs, or Drake White. I, mean, I can't tell the. I, I don't know what their flash rates are. I'm gonna say it's a modern LED. All their flash rates are like the same. And the close street view to this tower. Yeah, this is like 2007 Street View. It ain't good. And this one right here is in the Cincinnati area. Now, E.G. Jackson said that this water tower has an LED. But I don't see a, a beacon on it. It's probably very hidden. I probably got to check on Google Chrome on Chrome on Google Chrome Maps. This will take a moment. West Milford. Uh, 
time assisting me again. Yeah, sorry, I'm like wasting some time. I'm looking at old street of this thing. Let's see if cell antennas are not there. Okay, I can't explain. Okay, here's the water tower. And let's check Older Street and see if it's the beacons is visible. Get back in September 2011. Hmm. AJ Jackson's probably long. This tower's most likely beaconless. Well, if maybe you had. Hmm. And I think AJ Jackson said that this tower has an LED. Well, never mind about that. And here's the one in Greensboro, South Carolina. This water, this one's really special. It was constructed in 2013, replacing an older water tower that was destroyed in a hurricane. The street view was in like summer of 2021. You see, it had incandescence being built in the 2010s. I thought those were outdated. It has three of them um, on each, like, side. Yeah, these are modern incandescents. This is also a cell tower hybrid. Really special tower. Unfortunately, I don't know what the old one looks like. We're not going to look at the the Yellow Jacket Water Tower in Lebanon, Missouri. See, it has an old school incandescent up there, but it's sadly shut off. Been replaced by markers. And it's 2021 street view of this. Yeah, this tower now has markers. No longer has an old school incandescent. Wanna go wash your hands, buddy? Yeah. 